All right, everyone, benchmarks have hit the 2080 and the 2080 Ti. We don't have one on hand because we don't want to shell out that much money to purchase one because we've got a lot more pressing matters to do. But if you want to see raw data numbers, you have Gamers Nexus, Jay's Two Cents, Linus Tech Tips. You have all of the large tech tubers out there to go look at. What we're going to be discussing specifically is what we gleaned off of the data that they provide. And uh, the 2080, wow. What a, what a generational jump. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so what's, what, what price is the 2080? I think it's a little over 800. A little over 800. And the 1080 Ti is, you can find them for six, 700 all day. Oh, all day. Right now, that's the retail price. If you buy used, you can buy almost at four. Well, there's your answer on that one, so moving along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 2080 just seems to be a super disappointing Pay computer. more for a slower card with less RAM. And you also get ray tracing, which... Which will be great in the future. In the future? Well, I don't think that the current generation will ever get to enjoy it. Probably not. You know what I will say? Okay, let's say, okay, so if the 2080 and the 1080 Ti were close in price... For me, I have fallen in love with the 2080's uh, look, and I would buy it. The dual fan. I, I, yeah. just, I love the look of the cooler, which I know there's a lot of people out there that would spend a lot more money than an extra hundred bucks on looks of their PC. So you know what? Don't don't blame me. And that's completely fine. You know, actually, that goes into like the last video I did where I was talking about cable extensions, which you can find like here or here. You know, people are willing to spend the extra money to make their PCs look the way they want. It has like an industrial... I would spend a little extra money if they were close to get a 2080 because I love the look of it. Yeah. However, at $200, $300 difference, no. 1080 Ti. But pretty much the sum of it, the 2080, dumb. You don't even get over 10, 15% performance gain. You yeah, might no, get really. like a few... There's a couple where it trades back and forth and the 1080 Ti wins. <laughs> It's pretty sad right now. I mean, we'll see when the drivers mature. We'll, we'll definitely re revisit when they start posting later benchmarks, or maybe we actually get our hands on one. Who knows? I have poor impulse decisions all the time. But now the 2080. TI. The TI. There you go. Is kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. We've, there's been plenty of people before that spent $1,200 on a Titan, so if you want the absolute best GP you could get, huh? That, uh, this is this is the first time that I can think of a single card has hit the magical 60 FPS and above in 4K with ultra settings. I was about to say, there's plenty of ways you can take a 1080 Ti and get 60 FPS on every game. Yeah, but on the ultra settings. But then I can't say that I have it on ultra. I can't see the blades of grass sweat in the morning <laughs> with the dew. It's... It's kind of a cool phase we're in, honestly, but at the yeah. same time, it's sad because we have to depend on NVIDIA right now. Yeah, and here's the deal. Ray tracing will definitely be amazing in the future. That's going to be the new standard for games. Definitely. I in see that. two or three generations. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. It's, I mean, you, at some point, you got to push the hardware out there and start getting it in the market, use people developing on it, etc. But it just doesn't for, seem for a like common they... gamer, it doesn't really uh it's not the generation you're gonna buy it on. For people that want cutting edge, the best, that kind of stuff, they're gonna buy it either way, which is great because eventually that means in a couple of generations it's cheaper for the rest of us to use. It doesn't seem like they actually like kind of gave a heads up to the industry as a whole for the gaming industry. Like hey this new technology is gonna be so available to you right now like to begin putting stuff in. Like this could be the thing for your game. And yeah. I mean what, they gave, I think they sent out Nvidia the Nvidia tends to like to walk things to themselves, so. I mean, it's kind of like what you do with CAD. You can't really use Nvidia unless you get a Quadro for accelerated anything with yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of things that'll walk. But, I mean, so we're at Nvidia's mercy anyway. Uh, the 2080, don't buy, buy a 1080 it. Ti. If you're gonna, if you were gonna buy a Titan anyway, you'll buy a 2080 Ti. There's been, I mean, if you're willing to spend that much money, you're gonna get the best either way. Um, it's cool. A lot of FPS. I mean, that's I mean, it's, it, it's neat. Is it worth the price? That's debatable. I wouldn't buy one. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know I'm on the fence about it. You only would be. only because well, one reason and one reason alone. The 2080 Ti's cooler is awesome. 
I do love the looks of the car. I don't know what because it is. Because it's thick and it just looks massive. I don't know, a lot of people don't like that. I actually like uh, the Gigabyte Aorus 1080 Ti. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing looks like a brick in a computer. This is coming from somebody that has a complete custom loop and that would water cool it. I, I, I could, would possibly <laughs> water cool it. Like, I, I'm tempted to go back into the air cooling realm. I mean, water cooling is great. Low temperatures is really nice. But, I mean, it, it's fun. It's an enthusiast thing to do. I've done it. Now, I guess the only thing we have left to do is a hardline build. But other than that, we're rambling on a little bit. But there's a lot of things going on in the industry right now that are kind of topsy-turvy. If you got AMD that's still what's the, Hang on, what's that tell you about this launch, though? You're rambling on a video talking about it. With I mean, nothing. You've, you've already, like, pretty much covered everything about it. it meh. That could describe the whole entire bunch. <laughs> I like that. So I think, honestly, that's all we have to say on it. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two, we'll have a build video coming out where we review a case if we have no cooler issues. And then... I like the case, though. And the case is, <laughs> the case is going to be fun. If, if you guys want to watch, definitely watch then. Uh, we'll also should have a giveaway here in four weeks. Yeah, I think, I, I think four weeks is about the time I'll do the giveaway. It, might be for a CPU cooler, might be for my soul. I don't know yet. But uh, thank you guys very much. Don't buy the 2080 for the love of God. Just buy a cheap 1080 Ti while the prices are nice and low. Or uh, if you have money to burn, go buy a 2080 Ti and post a bunch of screenshots on PCMR about your 4K 60 no, FPS. buy two 1080s. 2080 Ti's. Buy two 2080 Ti's if you have the money to burn. Yep, there you go. Best financial decision ever. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. See you next week.